The Armstrong Whitworth AW-52 was one of the earliest jet-powered flying wing aircraft developed in the United Kingdom in the 1940s. It was conceived to explore the aerodynamic potential of a tailless design combined with laminar flow airfoils, aiming to create a more efficient airframe for high-speed flight. Interest in the flying wing configuration dated back to pre-World War I experiments by John William Dunn, but by the 1940s, the advent of the turbojet engine renewed focus on its viability for large aircraft. During World War II, Armstrong Whitworth was tasked with designing a wing for laminar flow testing, leading to wind tunnel experiments and flight tests using a modified Hawker Hurricane. Results showed potential, but also highlighted the sensitivity of laminar flow to surface contamination. In response, John Lloyd of Armstrong Whitworth envisioned a jet-powered airliner using a flying wing layout to reduce drag and structural weight. A scale research program was initiated. The AW-52G, a wooden glider with a 53-foot 10-inch span, was the first testbed. It flew in 1945 and helped assess control and stability at low speeds. It featured elevons and fowler flaps along with anti-spin parachutes. Its success led to the construction of two powered prototypes, the AW-52, first flown on 13 November 1947. Built from metal with an advanced structural method to ensure surface smoothness within 0.02 inches, the A-52 featured swept wings with integrated engines and complex elevons mounted on correctors for pitch trimming. It also included a boundary layer suction system to delay tip stall powered by the engines. The first prototype used two Rolls-Royce Neen engines, the second used lower-powered Derwents. Despite high hopes, testing revealed limitations. Maintaining laminar flow across the wing proved unfeasible in practice, and flight performance fell short of expectations. On 30 May 1949, during a test dive at 320 miles per hour, the first prototype suffered severe pitch oscillation, likely due to elevon flutter. Test pilot John Oliver Lancaster became the first British aviator to eject from an aircraft using a Martin Baker seat in an actual emergency. Remarkably, the aircraft crash-landed with minimal damage. Development was subsequently halted. Armstrong Whitworth shifted focus to more conventional projects like the Apollo airliner. The second prototype continued experimental flights with the Royal Aircraft Establishment until 1954, when it was scrapped. Although the AW-52 never advanced beyond the prototype stage, it contributed valuable data to aerodynamic and structural research. It also marked several milestones in aviation safety and design, including emergency ejection and boundary layer control. Today, it remains a notable chapter in the evolution of the flying wing concept, which would later influence modern stealth bombers like the B-2 Spirit.